Hello everyone. Before we start, I would like to thank all the Telegram members for voting and sharing their opinion that makes us trade as one. If you did not subscribe to our Telegram channel, we hope you join now, we don't have a paid channel, we don't send annoying notifications, and we don't send any ads, all we do is free recommendations and share successful deals with each other. Let's start. Choose a 3 minute time frame. But let me tell you that this indicator is compatible with 1 minute, 5 minutes or any other time frame, but let's start from here now. Use Heikinashi candles so that the indicator behaves better. Let's heading to the indicators. In the search box, type Neural Network. and choose the first indicator. If you focus here, you will notice the presence of this sign, which means that this indicator is integrated with a strategy as well. And please allow me to thank the neural network programmers for their wonderful indicators on the TradingView website. Well, after we applied the indicator, it looked like this to us. And the beauty of this form will be even in its performance. I don't think it will be difficult to deal with, as the places to buy and sell are very clear. But let's turn off some functions we don't need right now. Well, let's review the indicator settings. Let's go straight to the style. First, uncheck tables. Now, uncheck trades on chart. We will return to this point, but now, in the first section of this video, we will uncheck it to reduce the confusion and to clarify the chart. Now, as you can see, the indicator has become much clearer. Here is the entry point. As for these small triangles, they are also entry points, but they are weak. Sometimes we can rely on them, especially when they appear when the trend breaks through this twisting line, which is the HMA line. Here, we note a strong selling point, but why is it considered strong? Because it showed a sell signal and a red triangle, also the HMA line was broken down. Well, let's see some examples of where to buy and sell quickly. As we said, triangles are considered weak entry and exit points if they are not accompanied by a breach with the HMA line. As for these signals, they are strong entry and exit points. Well, that was the easiest part of this video. You can use this indicator as we have explained. But now, we will dive a little bit to understand new things. This may be the first time that you will see it. I hope you like it and benefit from it. But I really want you to focus a little to understand these things. Well, let's get back the trading on the chart by opening the indicator settings and tick here. That's good, the trading strategy signals appeared on the chart again. Second, let's remove the buy and sell signal. These procedures are only to clarify the explanation, because the general view is not important, and the important thing is the results. Also, let's remove the quantity, we don't need it now. Well, all that is left of the indicator are the symbols of the strategy. And this means that this indicator will automatically buy and sell according to these symbols. If you notice here, you will find that the indicator symbols take the same place as the buy and sell signs that we hid, but these signs are used for manual trading, while the strategy symbols can be used in automatic trading. Well, after we understand some of the important basics of this indicator, let's move on to the strategy section and review some important things. Click on the little arrow here to open the strategy section.
make sure to click on overview here. As you can see here, in this panel, there are several readings and numbers. Like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. But what matters to us now is the profit, the number of deals, and the percentage of the number of successful deals. Also we will understand what is the profit factor and max drawdown. Just follow the video. Well, let's start with total closed trades and compare it with the percentage profitable. To understand this point, let's say you made 100 trades, simply the percentage here shows that you won 75 out of 100 trades, and this means that you lost 25 of these 100 trades, which is the remainder of 100 minus 75. Well, we will clarify this point more, but first, before we talk about the preparation of this strategy, we will look for a less complex strategy in order to learn also how to search for ready-made strategies. In the search box here, type a strategy and all available strategies will appear. And this symbol here means that it is a strategy. As you can see, there are many of them, but let's pick up any simple strategy to put it into practice. Well, this strategy gives a much lower percentage of profit than the strategy we presented earlier. Okay, let's go back to our strategy. If you noticed in the previous strategy, the profit rate was not good compared to this, it was about 40%. But with our strategy, the percentage reaches more than 75%. However, we will increase this percentage to the maximum, just watch the video. This wonderful tool here is the secret that no one will tell you, but we will talk about it in detail, so that we understand its usefulness and how to use it. Go to the Google Chrome store and search for it with the same name that appears in front of you, then add it to your browser. After you install it in the browser, it will appear like this. First, you must register through the website below. Registration is very simple, you only need an email and a password. Well, after registration, go to the settings and copy your key. Click on it, go to its settings and put your key, and you are done. Okay, now let's go back to TradingView. Let's open the tool and see how to use it. Well here I am trading bitcoins for dollars on Bitstamp. For this I will type BTCUSDT, I will choose the platform that I trade on, let it be Binance, by Bit, or Bitstamp or whatever it is, the important thing is that I write the correct pair. As for the platform, even if you do not type it, it does not matter because the prices are almost the same in strong currencies. Okay, let's move on to the second box. Here, you must set the time according to the time of the chart that you are trading on, here we are using a 3 minute frame, so it will be 3 minutes. You can use any time frame, hours, minutes, day or even a week, but according to our chart, we have to use 3 minutes. But what are the remaining 4 boxes? And how can we deal with it? To fill in these boxes, we must open the strategy settings first. 
You can open the settings from above, or you can open it from here. Well, the settings of this indicator are really great, but it is a bit complicated with several inputs, because it is combined with a very powerful strategy as we said before. If you read it and understand it, this indicator will be the biggest part of your day trading. But to simplify it, let's look for one of the best inputs in this indicator, so that we do not get confused. Here is the EMA pressure, and as we know, EMA pressure is one of the best indicators that tracks the movement of the trend, so let's choose it. As you can see, the default entry for EMA pressure is number 2. Well, let's open our tool again. I'm going to delete the old entries to start over. Okay, now focus a bit, after placing the pair in the first field, and typing the time in the second field, we will move on to the third field, which will be the EMA pressure field. Now, we must locate the field for EMA pressure according to it is location in the indicator panel. As you can see, EMA pressure located on field number 7. So, in the third field in Strategy Finder tool, we will type the number 7. But what does the fourth field mean? Well, step size means the numerical increase that you want to add when searching, usually it is better to put one, so that the search is more accurate. The next field, between, well, the meaning here is what are the numbers you want to search between them. Don't exaggerate too much, and always start from numbers close to the default number, let's say from 1 to 30, or 20, or even 10, this is also considered good. Okay, now that we've filled out the fields, let's click on Find Best Settings. Let me delete the old search I did before recording the video. Well, let's start the search and look at the profit numbers and percentage numbers, how they are constantly changing. Also pay attention to EMA pressure's number, how it keeps changing. Okay, but what is this? Quite simply, this tool automatically searches for the best inputs to increase the accuracy of this indicator as well as its strategy and to give us an opportunity to increase profits and increase the success rate of deals. Well, here too we can see the percentage of improvement. Now that the search is over, you will notice that the numbers have changed and the percentage of profit has increased, and here, the profit rate has also increased. Here the total profit percentage appears, which is the average of the percentages in the indicator panel. Here, EMA pressure's number has changed from 2 to 9, and this means that the search tool has found that the number 9 is the best number to be applied to EMA pressure in 3 minutes time frame. To apply new settings, click OK. Returning to the chart, we will notice that the places of buying and selling have also changed, and here I will remember one of the comments in a previous video where a viewer asked me, how do you change the inputs? Well, let's take a quick look at the indicator, and let's activate the buy and sell signals as well, to see the chart clearly. Let's quickly find another example, and apply the settings again to make it clearer. Find strategies and pick any one of them. This is the new strategy dashboard. Let's implement the search tool, and see what happens. The indicator settings must be opened, as we said earlier, to see the locations of the fields and their numerical arrangement. 
you can change the input of any field here, but since we are in MACD, let's start with the length, because it is more effective. Let's open the tool and leave the name of the currencies and the time as it is, but the field number must be changed according to the presence of the length in the MACD indicator. As you can see it is located in field number 3. As we said earlier, here we put number 1. Here we start from a number close to the default number, and here as well. Let the search be between number 1 and 20. Before starting the search process, delete the previous results or leave it, the important thing is not to get confused. Well, let's get started, and see what happens. Well, the search is over, and the results appeared. If you notice here there is no change, but on the indicators panel, it is different. We will talk about this difference, but now, click on the results to be applied. Well, as you can see here, we have improved the strategy from 51% to 62%. Well, this explanation was a little complicated, although I speak in general, but I think the video has become a little boring due to the long time, that is why I will stop here, but before this, you should know that all these ratios are only approximations, and the other thing, that we did not talk about all the advantages, and tasks of the indicator and strategy dashboard, and this is very important, because the percentage of profit and profit rate alone is not enough to calculate the strategy, sometimes the percentage of the indicator, may be less than 40%, but the profit rate is very large, and sometimes the opposite. So if you like the video and want the second part, please let me know in the comments. See you in the next video and good luck.